this is like my setup that I've changed up a little bit because I'm kind of like behind on doing my holiday stickers. So I did make like a Christmas collection with like little holographic stickers like these. I have these have snowflakes on them. And I made these for Halloween and I have like little hearts on them, holographic. But yeah. So this is like my little setup today to do my photography. I'm gonna give you guys a closer look in just a minute. But yeah, I have my tea. I made like a Thai tea dupe because I didn't like go to like the grocery store to get like the actual Thai tea. But I looked up um, the ingredients or like um, how to make Thai iced tea at home. And basically the internet told me that just have black tea, vanilla, cardamom, anise. Add whatever milk, whatever you want. You can have it hot, you can have it cold, whatever. I just kind of played around with that recipe. I added some cinnamon, some nutmeg to it as well, and um, also sugar. And this is a mug that I got for Christmas. It has my zodiac sign on it. Everybody, I wouldn't say everybody, but like everybody in my family that I like claim on my mother's side. For the most part, we're all Virgos or like born in September. So they got me this mug. I really appreciate it. So, in case you guys are new here, I am a recent breast cancer survivor. So one, I'm gonna give you guys a head up that like, going forward, I'm either gonna be wearing a headscarf or a beanie when in all my videos, just because I had a meeting with my dermatologist to talk about my hair loss. I made a video discussing my hair loss journey like a couple months ago, in case you guys remember. But um, yeah, basically I've been struggling with hair loss for over a year after chemo, after cancer, and nobody, like none of my doctors could really tell me what was going on and what was happening. I kept asking them questions and they were just like, and just give it time, you know, like take biotin, take B12, take vitamin D, take vitamin C, you know, I don't know, I don't know, refer you to dermatology. So I finally met, met with my dermatologist and she told me to just um, get some Rogaine or like the generic kind. It doesn't matter if it's men or women, they're both the same product and usually the men's cheaper anyways and sometimes I can work better just because of pink tax and stuff. So I got some of that, I got the generic version of Rogaine, I've been spraying on my hair like two times a day and my hair is still very thin very patchy but she told me not to cut my hair because in order for them to keep track of my hair growth process and i would have to like let my hair grow so because my hair is like very thin and very patchy it just doesn't look good like if you take one look at my scalp you can kind of tell that i'm sick and it makes people feel bad for me so I don't like to show my scalp too much. Also, it's still January, so I think it's more acceptable to like wear a scarf or a beanie because it's cold and everything like that. So, yeah. Yeah. I kind of look crusty right now because I just woke up and I kind of was woken up rudely, so I just kind of threw something on. I'm wearing my partner's hoodie. It kind of has like food stains on it. Like, literally looking crazy right now. But I promise I'll try and look cuter later on throughout the day. I just want to try and type some things while I still have daylight because I'm kind of like in a weird area. Like, my apartment is facing another apartment and I'm kind of like in this in between area. I'm not facing out. So. I have like a weird window of sunlight depending on if it's cloudy or not. And since it's still like around noon, I'm going to try and get as many pictures taken as possible. But I'm not going to be able to take as many pictures as I want because I'm taking this vlog on my phone. My phone doesn't have a lot of storage on it. So yeah, we'll see how this turns out. Okay, so it's now like 4.30 p.m. I spent most of my day taking pictures, editing pictures, and uploading stuff to Etsy. I already cooked last night. I just made some rice, broccoli, peas, 
And I put some beans in my um, crock pot. So this is what my lunch looks like for today. And I have some beans, like some pinto beans and a slow cooker that I started on yesterday. So it's easier for me to make beans in the slow cooker than it is on the stove just because I feel like they turn out a little bit more tender, a little bit more flavorful, and I don't have to keep checking the stove to see if they're done or not. I can just put them in there, some water, some seasoning, and then they're done by morning if I do it at night. The slow cooker takes about six to eight hours. So the first hour I do it, I put it on high for like an hour, and then I put it on low until morning. And then in the morning when I wake up, they're already done. My rice and vegetables are already cooked, and all I have to do is put this in the oven. I do not have a microwave. I haven't owned a microwave in years, so I'm just going to put this onto an oven-safe pan, heat it up for like 10 minutes, come back, put it in a metal bowl because I don't like eating out of plastic bowls if I'm at home. Like, this is the to-go thing. Like, back when I would work, like, a regular job, I would take this, these to work and put this in the microwave. But since I don't have microwaves and I'm not, like, out and about, I prefer to eat out of metal bowls or ceramic. So, like this. And I just feel like one, it looks better. And two, I like feeling like I'm eating at home if I'm at home. I don't like eating out of to-go bowl if I'm at home. I don't know about... I don't know if that's a thing for other people, but it's just like a thing for me mentally. Like, I just would prefer to eat out of a, I prefer to eat out of real, like eat out of real silverware and real bowls and plates and stuff. I also rarely ever eat on a plate. I think that bowls are superior to plates, so yeah, that is what I'm about to do now.
first mistake was going outside. And the second was talking to a man. But hear me out. I just wanted to put on some cute makeup and run some errands because I needed to try and see what they have left at Dollar Tree because it's now February and like they already have stuff for Easter and and um St. Patrick's Day and it's like dude it's not even the 14th yet like I understand you guys want to pre-plan ahead because you know retail schedules things like three months in advance but like don't be all empty when it's the actual month of the thing that you're supposed to be promoting. Like, nobody was thinking about Valentine's Day in December. And, like, most people weren't thinking about buying anything in January because they spent all their money in December. So, like, I don't know, give us a break. <laughs> you know, like, dang, like, can I get Valentine's Day stuff in February? I don't want to have to be thinking about it all the way in December. And it's like, I appreciate the fashion trends kind of moving for, because like, Hall you can get Halloween stuff in June and July, but like, if you go into a sort of October, like, you should still be able to get stuff that is fitting for October while you're in October. You shouldn't just see a whole bunch of Christmas stuff. So, that's like my mini rant for today. But anyway, so I went outside to run some errands and like, I was wearing a mask, so the guy saw like this much of my face. And this is in my own apartment, like I wasn't like in any other building or whatever. So the guy is like trying to talk to me. He's like, hey, how are you doing? Are you having a good day? Blah, 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 whatever. And he compliments my makeup, like, oh, I really like your makeup. It's so beautiful. Yeah, like, that's really nice. And I was like, okay, thank you. And then he was like, kind of squinting at me. And he's like, what are you Indian or something I was like no he's like oh like he was disappointed that I wasn't a whole other race and it's like sir I am a Negro it is Black History Month you are a Negro you should be able to recognize your fellow Negroes especially when they live in the same building as you but you know I didn't want to continue talking to this man so I was just like you know, just giving, you know, like little one word answers here and there. Cause I didn't want the conversation to be any longer than it had to be. I just wanted to take the elevator to my apartment and get out. Cause it's like, it's one thing to walk down some stairs, but it's another thing to walk up the stairs. I'm just like, I don't want to put myself through that. Let me just take the elevator. And he just happened to be taking the elevator at the same time. And normally I like to avoid putting myself in positions where I'm going to be alone with a man, whether that's in the elevator, a, a stairway, or whatever. I usually try to, like, go find a different route or whatever, but I just came back from the store, walking a couple of blocks. My energy levels are pretty low this week, and I can't take any vitamins because I'm having surgery on Friday. So I'm trying to, like, get everything done around the house that needs to be done before I can't do it anymore because I'm going to be sore and healing from the surgery. So I just want to like do my laundry, which I already need to do anyways, but I want to do it before the surgery. Do my laundry and draw, promote my stickers that are already cut and made, upload as many stickers as I can so that people can order it and get it in time for the holiday and you know make sure that I'm actually able to like come in my room and process orders like I'm just trying to make things as easy for myself as I possibly can but yeah let's go over some stuff that we got from Michaels all right so it's like 10 30 10 45 ish at night and I just meal prep my breakfast for the next two days which is like grits biscuits and some sauteed mushrooms but I kind of ran out of energy afterwards so I didn't have time to like cook a proper dinner so tonight I'm having grilled dinner biscuit, some sauteed tempeh, a vegan chicken nugget, and some sauteed oyster mushrooms. They kind of like little sausages. And I just season them up in the same oil and they're pretty good. I'm going to have it with a ginger beer. 
Grammy. So it's not the first time that Grammys are recognizing Afrobeats. Afrobeats have been a part of the Grammys. They just try to shut it down because they're not they're not trying to, in my opinion, they're not trying to put too much on the 100% black African artists. I really feel that. Okay. So today is February 6th. It's like 2 p.m. I just started getting up because today I messed up by taking my nighttime pill in the morning and taking my morning pill after and like you're not supposed to mix those for one and two it's important I take my nighttime pill at night and my morning time pill in the morning because my nighttime pill makes me drowsy like as a side effect like it's an anti-anxiety anti-depression pill and it basically kind of works as like a tranquilizer and last time I made this mistake and first of all, this is the second time this week I am making this mistake. So, the last time I made this mistake, I got up later than I wanted to. I ate my breakfast and I was about to look at my planner, look at my to-do list and try and get all these things done. And I just started dozing off like I could not control it. I was completely knocked out. So today I got myself a little mocha from downstairs. Um, I wouldn't say downstairs, but like more so like down the street, but I have to go downstairs to walk to it. But um, it's like a little cafe that's near me. It's not Starbucks. Don't come for me. It's not Starbucks. It's a little cafe. I'm not going to say the name of the cafe because I go there often and I don't want you guys to like keep track of my location or whatever. But um, I put it in this little mug that I got for Christmas. It has like my zodiac sign. It's a Virgo. got this for Christmas. I couldn't find the top because I washed it recently and I didn't put it with the mug, but I know it's somewhere in my kitchen. So, yeah. I got myself like half a mocha. I'm not going to drink the full thing. One, because I'm not that good at caffeine. And two, because I have surgery on Friday and they told me to limit my caffeine because it's dehydrating. But yeah, I'm like more disoriented than usual because I'm not able to take any of my vitamins this week. Because when I have my surgery, they told me like a week before, don't take any vitamins. And I am deficient in like all of the things that you could be deficient in. Like I'm anemic, I have low blood counts, um, I need vitamin C, vitamin D, I'm vegan so I need vitamin B12, I need like a multivitamin to kind of check all of the boxes to address all these other health issues that I'm still dealing with. So I'm just like low energy and I'm low, like I'm, I'm more disoriented than usual because I'm just like, I'm disoriented because I'm just like, I'm low in all of the things and I can't take any vitamins to help remediate that. So yeah. But today isn't going to be much of an art day. Today I'm just going to try and do chores. Like I have to do laundry. Um, I have to meal prep my meals to try and make my life a little easier. I also got my second order this week for my Etsy shop. People have been buying my B grades. I was nervous to sell them. I was about to throw them away. But then somebody on TikTok recommended that I just mark them down and label them as B grades. And people still want them. And that's exactly what's happening but yeah I don't know when I'm gonna end this vlog I'm gonna try and end it before I go into surgery so you guys can kind of see like the lead up to it but yeah um, I'll show you some footage of my day but it's not gonna be such an artsy day it's gonna be more like a chore day all right so this is for the people that are always making comments like if you're vegan then what do you eat and it's like, ask Google, don't ask me. But like, here's an example of what I mean today. I made these little heart-shaped biscuits using that little heart-shaped pan. I showed you guys in a different video. Um, I got like two uh, veggie chicken nuggets. They're like the, the generic brand from Target. And these kind of look like sausages, but they're just king oyster. Oh my gosh. I'm just going to eat that one. But they're just king oyster mushrooms. And this white stuff here is just grits with some vegan butter, salt, and pepper. Kept it pretty simple. But yeah, it's not cute the way I set it up, but 
I didn't like make it look presentable because I'm just about to eat this and it's not like I'm serving it to anybody. If I was serving this to somebody, like if my partner was home, then like I would try to make this look cute. But the only thing that's cute here is like these little heart shaped things. So yeah, that's what I'm eating today. As far as protein goes this morning, I'm getting most of my protein from these two little nuggets, but also like the grits and the mushrooms and biscuits, they all have little amounts of protein in it and this whole meal kind of adds up to about 15 grams, maybe 20 grams of protein, which is what's recommended per meal if you're eating like three times a day. And you're somebody that's around my size and height. So, yeah, that that's my breakfast. And um, here's my coffee. That's about as much as in here. It's a mocha. It's not full-on coffee. It's like mostly oat milk and sugar. But that's pretty much how I like it. But, yeah, that's what I'm eating.